You've asked a lot, and now you receive. I am Taylor Martin, this is Pocket Now, and this is a walkthrough of the official Instagram beta for Windows Phone. Windows Phone users have a lot to be thankful for this November, as today one of the most requested applications was officially released, as a beta, mind you, to the public, Instagram. The Windows Phone store link went live at 11 a.m. Pacific today for all Windows Phone 8 users and can be currently downloaded completely free of charge. Up until now, Windows Phone users who wanted to join one of the world's most popular photo sharing platforms were forced to tread the sometimes dreadful waters of third-party clients. Fortunately, some fully featured clients came to be in recent months, such as SixTag. But finally receiving official support from Instagram itself is a blessing for the platform, a badge of honor a symbol of acceptance amongst the two major mobile platforms. We downloaded the Instagram beta as soon as it hit the store and started toying around with it. And at the surface, it seems much like the official client on other platforms. It comes with the four main views, the timeline, or a feed of posts from everyone you follow, what's popular and trending, your notifications, and your profile. You can fully edit your profile, view all of your own uploads, and change privacy settings. You can see all new notifications, make comments, like photos and videos, and even view Instagram videos in line with pictures. Though they will not auto-play, you will need to tap to play videos, and we're not complaining about that. You can link up your Facebook, Twitter, Tumblr, Flickr, and Foursquare accounts, and you can copy the share links for individual posts for resharing friends' photos. And best of all, you can receive notifications in the form of live tile updates on your home screen, a feature that truly makes the most of the Windows Phone interface. It is, for all intents and purposes, a fully featured client, and despite being a little sluggish at times, we're happy to report it seems to work quite well. But there's a small hiccup which has caused a good bit of controversy. Tapping the camera icon at the bottom of the app does not take you directly to the in-app camera as it does on Android or iOS. We're talking about the square viewfinder with Instagram's standard camera UI. Instead, it rockets you straight into your camera roll, showing you all your recent pictures. There is no inbuilt camera function. Or is there? From the camera roll, there is another camera icon at the bottom, and tapping it will flip you into an external camera application, which, oddly, is not the stock camera app. From there, you can snap a quick shot and either accept or retake. If accepted, you can proceed to crop and reframe, apply the standard filters, frames, and other edits. And, of course, share. The video functionality, unfortunately, doesn't seem to work just yet despite the capability being asterisked on the application feature details in the Windows Phone store. The toggle is grayed out in the camera app, and if you thought you could simply load a pre-shot video from your camera roll, think again. Video upload functionality simply does not exist yet. After all, this isn't the final product, and it's important to remember that. So far, it's a great start for Instagram on a blooming platform. And rather than harping on the missing features, no matter how important said feature may be, it's important to remember this is a beta, and it's just the beginning. We'll keep our eyes peeled for development on this official application, but we're certainly not uninstalling SixTag just yet. Oh, and one last thing. If you're not following PocketNow on Instagram yet, do it. No excuses. That's going to do it for this video. If you enjoyed it, be sure to let us know by clicking the thumbs up button below and subscribing to the channel. Leave a comment if you have any questions or suggestions, and be sure to follow us in all the usual places, Twitter, Google+, and Facebook at PocketNow. I'm Taylor Martin. You can find me on Twitter at CasperTech, and I will see you next time.